My name is Blaze. I'm with Music Villa, and uh, we're gonna do another lesson uh, for y'all out there. Um, we're gonna do. Uh, uh, I'm always trying to think of what would be a cool song, and this one came to mind: "Smokestack Lightning." Uh, Howlin' Wolf recorded it in uh, I think 1956. Um, this is a, a classic blues. It, it's killer. There's a there's Two parts. There's a you could say an A part or a B part, right? Um, two classic blues rock riffs come from this. These have been copied and pasted and molded into different things. Uh, so many people have covered this song just straight up. You know, like everyone from Grateful Dead to The Who, Aerosmith, George Thurgood. Um, you know, and Led Zeppelin even, you know, how many more times uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that in the lesson. Uh, you know, they added their little spice to it. You know, they took these old blues things and rocked it out. Um, so it's cool to learn these things because they sound good on guitar. They're not super hard. And you can rock them out, put some heavy. We're doing it with acoustic. You can do it a finger picking thing. We're going to use a pick. But we're going to, uh, it's something you can rock out or just do as a cool on the porch acoustic uh, picking thing, and you'll see what I mean. It's fun. And uh, well, first lesson, we're going to just learn the, the 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 two riffs and this tune, and then uh, the we'll do another one down the road that we're going to um, kind of add some more stuff and spice it up a little bit. All right. Uh, hope you enjoy it. So here we go. Uh, we're going to do Smokestack Lightning. This is the key of E. But uh, we're going to do two parts. Uh, let's do the first part. Uh, basically, I'll play it, and then I'll uh, I'll do the first part, play it, and then we'll talk about it. All right, that's it. It's just a repeated riff. Uh, in the key of E. Um, I did it four times there. I think that's probably what we're doing. We're going to do four times each part and just it's this looping cycle of things. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to hit this low E on the sixth string. Then I'm going to hit the second and first string, the B and the E, together. So it's boom, bah. And then we're going to bar this Third fret, second string, and first string. We're going to take our first finger and press down and do that. So you're going to go. And then we're going to do this thing. We're going to take our second finger on the third string, second fret. We're going to slide to the fourth fret. So you're going to hit it. Make sure you get a nice strong note before you slide. Don't go. Get that feel there. It's good to do everything real slow. It's all cool. This song's gonna sound good slow. Uh, get it nice and good before you move on. And then you're gonna drop your first finger right here. A lot of people, y'all might not know this. this is a cl very cliche classic move. You're gonna slide, and then as it's still ringing, drop that and hit that right there on the second string. So. If you want, you can also use your whatever one you want to bar. I use my first finger. But this I'm particular with. I want my second finger to slide so that my first finger can drop right there nice and efficient. Oops, I forgot to add that note. So you're going to go and then back to the third string, holding that. So. And then bring it back up to where you started sliding. Hit that, hit that third string open, and then fourth string on the second fret. All with your second finger. And that's it. Now I want you to feel this, but you know, how long do you, the question is one, one, two, maybe two beats on that. But I want to just feel it. You know, and just if more you do it, and then right back to that low six, and it's like a loop. It's, it's 
keep playing it and you'll get the groove and you'll get the vibe. All right, there's part one. All right, so now that we learned the A part, we're gonna do the B part. Um, this is the second half of the song. Uh, so let me do the first, the A part again. After we do that four times, we're gonna go still with the sixth string. And then we're gonna do it over and over again. So what we're doing here now is we're hitting that low six again. You're gonna hit the fourth string, second fret, second finger, open on that same string. And then you're here on the fifth string. Uh, and they're gonna hit open on the fourth string. So open six, and then on the fourth string, two, open, and then fifth string, two, and then open on the fourth string. Like that. And then we're gonna go six, string open, fourth string, second fret, open on the fourth string, fifth string, second fret, and then open on the fourth string. And then six, Duh. same stuff, fourth string, second fret, open, fourth string, and then the second fret on the fifth string again. So it's like. Nice and slow. Here we go, we're gonna do it all together again. We're gonna do it four times. Like a little wiggle there, feel real groovy. B part. Haunting. That's twice we did the whole thing, we're doing it four. Back to the beginning. You can either hit an open that or an E. Add that pinky there on the third fret, second string for an E7. All right, well, there you have it, folks. That is Smokestack Lightning by the wonderful Howlin' Wolf. I highly recommend you check out his recordings. He is, if you want to learn blues, you want to learn what inspired The Who, The Rolling Stones, Grateful Dead, the Kinks, you name it. Uh, these guy, th uh, this guy is is awesome. Uh, Howlin' Wolf is great. Good fifties blues, electric blues, and it, he's acoustic too. But electric blues, uh, uh, very inspirational to a lot of the rock that we all know and love, and uh, a lot of fun to play. Good stuff. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for. Uh, well, down the road we'll do another lesson that we're going to add some more goodies to the this song. And uh, but I hope you enjoy it and have some fun with it. <laughs>